Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. We've got some salmon berry jelly here, so that's better than nothing. Ooh, we have some row and a quest from Randall. We need a diamond. Randall is high maintenance. We do have a diamond. This is for you, Randall, my most special boy. There you go. This diamond will keep us healthy. Oh, I'm sure it will, Randall, you greedy bastard. Let's throw some row in the jar. All right, so today is going to be devoted to more farm planning. That's really vague, I understand, but it's still a thing we need to do. And just figuring out, once again, how we can make money, <laughs> because I, I would like some money. I wanna buy a barn or something. And this time, since I'm a smart cookie, oh, these are ready, okay. I'm gonna remember to water these, because I've been forgetting to do that. There we go, there we go. Let's check our cave. Wow, now that's impressive. And we got some honey. Let's go. Can we, can you use honey with a preserve? No. Okay, we're just gonna sell it then. We'll put the peach in there. That's good enough. All right, let's say hi to our sweet little babies. I already forgot what I named my animals. <laughs> it's just named goat. <laughs> and lizard. <laughs> I completely forgot that I just named all my ducks after other animals. Either way, we have three more maple syrups, which is fantastic news. Oh, frick, we need tappers. That's what, that's what the goal was. I completely... Forgot. Oh, no, I didn't. I shouldn't say that. I didn't forget. I knew it all along. Okay, let's grab our coal, our iron. Oh, we need to smelt some more of this. Three bee houses. Okay, we, and we have plenty of copper bars. Okay, so we're like set for the tappers. All right, that's our first little ring of bee houses complete. This is really coming together. I'm very proud of us. I'm proud of us as a community. And since people keep screaming at me in the comments, I will water my dog's bowl. So you're welcome. I can refill my watering can with fish water? Wow, I'm resourceful. Okay, let's think about this. We need to do a little bit of farm planning because right now, first of all, this has like no paths around it, which needs to be fixed. And we have like nothing that, basically this, this planting area is like completely <laughs> separated from every other part of the farm. Um, maybe something we can put like here. Oh, maybe I, this can be like the barn area. We're gonna need to save some room for bee houses for sure. Okay, well, either way, let's grab some stone. Um, we have very little stone. We have 19 stone. That is not, that is not ideal. It's okay, we can work with this. So let's do this. Dang it. Out of stones. Because what I'm thinking is looking at how many maple trees we have, we're definitely gonna get a lot more than enough bee houses for just those three groups, so I want to plant a few more of them. I also want to sell this jar of mayonnaise. Ooh, let's grab our scythe. We need to grab this wheat. A lot of stuff to do this morning. Wow. Give me that. Okay, we'll save our wheat for the fodder's bundle. We have one hay. Boop. And then we can plant some more wheat. We also have some trees sitting around that we can cut down. Okay, now we have a spot set up for plenty more bee houses, so we should be Good to go. Okay, so next, let's figure out our, um, let's figure out our flooring situation for these maple trees down here. Oh, there's a duck. Hello, friend. Okay, so now this is all, this is all good to go. We don't need to add the fences. It's fine. We have some mayonnaise that's ready here. Yes, please. Okay, and then I guess we might as well chop some wood with our extra time. Man, being a farmer is easy. Oops. All right, another hundred wood or so. Always good. Oh, Gus's famous omelet. I completely forgot that we were supposed to save eggs for this omelet. Shoot, okay, well, we'll figure it out. It's, it's fine. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I am supposed to be saving all the eggs. It's okay, it's, it's no biggie. We'll figure it out. Let's see how many toppers we can make in the meantime. 12, we need, what, like 20 or so? Ooh, that was a lot of wood just there. Let's just do one more set of like five toppers. That'll probably be enough. Five more toppers. Good enough for me. We're gonna be so freaking rich with maple syrup, dude. You don't even know. All right, Nanny Knight. Level eight foraging. Hey, awesome. Another 2,800 gold in the bank. All right, it's a lovely new day. Uh, well, um, water the plant. My, <laughs> my brain just imploded. I was on vacation for like a week and then we had this like eight hour car ride to come back today and my brain is absolutely fried. So you are now experiencing firsthand what it's like to witness the decay of a human being. Our last mahogany tree is ready. Our first eggplant is ready. So that's a community center item. We're gonna throw that in our little community center chest. Some more honey. 
Love it. And we're gonna remember once more to water our fairy roses, because we're not moron. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's a, that's a strong claim. All right, so what's the move today? That's what I'm thinking about. I cannot figure out what we should be doing right now, because I'm, I'm very content with where we are, but I don't want every episode to be me just aimlessly wandering around. Oops, I just broke the gate. Check on our chicken babies. Oh my god, I almost did it again. This time, let's remember to not turn the eggs into mayonnaise because we need them. Gus's famous omelet, I collected enough eggs. Now I just need to put them in his, what was it, his fridge? Let's just bring all of them. These, I need 10 eggs for the community center, so I saved these 10 little white eggs, but we can get that back in plenty of time. We're not gonna be able to finish the community center for a while anyway. Hi, Pam. Oh, let's go. She broke Pam's ankles. Gus, it's open, only open at noon. Okay. Trash. I got an egg. Penny, look. Penny, look. I have an egg. Penny, check out this egg. Check it out. Penny. 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 I just don't understand why no one wants to be my friend. Don't mind me just waiting outside your door with an egg. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You wouldn't understand. All right, put him in the frig. Put him in the frig. Two, three, five, six, seven, ten, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, and that's that. We get 3,000 gold. Awesome. So now here's what I think we should do. I think we should grab as much stone as we can in the mines because tomorrow I'd like to buy a barn. There are a lot of blackberries on the ground. Do we need that? No. Okay. I think a barn purchase might be a good idea. Hazelnut? Do we need a hazelnut? Hazelnut? <gasps> we do! Oops, we do. What do we need? We just need hazelnut and a common mush. And we have the hazelnut. Oh no, we already have both of them. That's right, last episode I said I was gonna complete that bundle and then forgot to do it. It's all coming back to me. Hi, Demetrius. Goodbye. All right, let's grab some stone real quick. So if you watched the last episode, you'll know that I talked for an unnecessarily long time about mini golf. And this week while I was at the beach, actually, I played a little bit of mini golf. It was fun, but there was this one hole and the whole point was that it was like, it was a pretty straightaway shot, nothing too special. But the big like attraction was that there was this rushing like stream going through the hole. Basically there was a platform that you shot off of and then there was like a drop off and like a river and then past the river was the rest of the hole. So you had to hit it with enough power for your ball to not go in the river. And I was thinking like, so if you screw it up and the ball goes in the river, what what the frick do you do then? Are you just done on hole like 12 or whatever it was? Do you just have to stop? Just have to hang up the club and retire? But then I was like, well, it's 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 so easy. I'm sure no one would ever have that problem. And then as I was saying that, the person I was playing with chipped it straight into the river. And I just had to watch their ball just like flow away from the hole. We were both just standing there like, well, what the frick do we do now? So we had, to, we had to make this shameful trip up to the front desk of the little mini golf place and be like, um, hi. So my, my friend hit his golf ball straight into the river on hole 12. And the guy, the guy was just like, just, just get another one. Really, thank you. So fun times at the whatever I already forgot what it was called. Lost, lost treasure, Doctor Hacker's lost treasure mini golf. That's what it was called. They had this giant, terrifying, life-size statue of this prospector named Doctor Hacker with like a monocle and a mustache. It was, it was really something else. Then they had this little plaque about like Doctor Hacker. Uh, got like 12 PhDs at the age of six. It's like, all right, I just want to play golf, dude. My favorite part about that place was that they had this fun idea of instead of just walking to the course, they made this little like minecart train thing that you ride in and they take you to the course and it's supposed to be like a fun little like, oh, cause it's mine themed. Well, you have to wait like 20 minutes for the slow ass little train to circle around and then just pile in there. And it goes at like two miles an hour. It's slower than walking. So I was like, oh, this is a cute idea in theory, but in practice, this freaking this sucks. And of course I have a soft spot for Dr. Hacker or maybe Professor Hacker. I can't remember, something hacker. So anyway, that's today's episode of stupid stories to pass time while grinding in the mines. Wait, is that the one I need? 
Oh, shoot. I think that's the one I need. Let's go. I might be mixing it up with my 200 days farm. By the way, 200 days. I'm really trying my best. I'm just, I like, I'm gonna be a freshman in college this year, so I, I leave for college in about two weeks. I'm, I'm setting things up, so I'm planning to still make content pretty consistently while at college. So I've been really busy, and I haven't had time to work on videos for like 10 hours a day like I could in late June and early July. So I'm really trying to work on that 200 days video, but it's just, it's taking forever, and I'm on day like, like 139 or something. I'm not even halfway done. It's gonna be a while. I'm sorry. I'm working as fast as I can, but it is definitely gonna take some serious time. I'm really glad that the 100 days video is doing so well though. Everyone's everyone's loving it. it makes me really happy because that video took forever. That was my like all or nothing gambit of, I was like, I had been making videos for almost a year that were all just pretty basic like play like let's play type content and i've been putting like six hours of time into every video i'd uploaded like 50 videos and i still only had like 100 subscribers and i was like okay i gotta i gotta make a move so i was like all right i'm gonna put like 60 hours into this video that i think could blow up and just cross my fingers and lo and behold everyone is loving it speaking up wow i just keep I'm like losing my voice because I'm going on so many tangents. <laughs> I have a video planned for my quote face reveal. I say face reveal because it's my face reveal on this channel, but if you dig hard enough, you can actually find my face on YouTube. So it's somewhere on there, but I'm not telling you where. But I've I've filmed like a live action video that I think is going to be really funny that I'm super excited about, but it's going to take a while to edit. So expect that to come out eventually, but that will be like my, my de facto face reveal and then after that I'll, I'll be able to do more like face cam stuff well not like face cam but more live action stuff which I'm excited about I love making gaming content but I kind of want to do a little bit of everything that's just just in my nature I like to I like to mix it up constantly which is why I've made such an effort to try and play plenty of other games that aren't just Stardew Valley even though those are all the videos that are doing the best on the channel wow so that that mind session just turned into like therapy not complaining though our, our mystery keg product is ready. So tomorrow we're gonna finish the fall foraging bundle, we're gonna go to Clint's, break open some geodes, we're gonna donate some artifacts to Gunther, and we're gonna try to, I guess, build a barn? I don't really know. We need to figure out a spot for it. We'll do that tomorrow morning. Where did our mead go? We need mead for the, the alcohol, the brewer's bundle. I thought we made mead. I thought we did that at some point. Guess not. Well, let's do that now. All right, good night. Level 10 farming. Yeah. Wow, wait, what? <laughs> did that single eggplant tip me over the edge? That's so funny. After all the farming I've done, that one eggplant is what did it. Definitely gonna go for the artisan perk. No question. Another 639. Good stuff. Queen of sauce. Tortilla, the MVP of my MasterChef playthrough. Hi, Therm. Thanks for the eggs. The yolks look amazing. I think this will be my best omelet yet. Please accept this gift. A refrigerator? Did he send me a refrigerator through the mail? Oh, I just saw a crow flying away. No. God damn it. I forgot about the... Ah, come on, dude. I don't, I don't have time for this. Okay, we gotta hustle. We have a lot of stuff to do today. Screw off, crow. Make me sad. Okay, our fairy roses are water. Ooh, our ancient fruit plants are getting close. That's exciting. Mead is done. Wow. Lot, lot getting done today. Refrigerator. Mini fridge. Allows you to store extra ingredients for- Oh, you can just kind of put it down. Oh, never mind. Unsuitable location. Can I use it? Yeah, I don't have a kitchen yet. Okay, that's fine. So I guess I just have this entire refrigerator now. Thank you, Gus. All right, plants are watered. Let's check on the animals real quick, and then we need to figure out where to put this barn. All of our grass is gone. What the frick happened, dude? Shoot, I forgot to save an egg again. Okay, let's get a scarecrow down to protect all my little fairy roses. What do we need? We need wood. We need fiber. We don't have enough fiber. Ah! Okay, you know what? This is just, this is a lot. This is a lot. It's just a lot. My brain is, is just really sad right now. Okay, let's think about this. Where do we want this barn to go? We should probably plan this more in depth than just kind of like, I don't know, throw it down somewhere. Because that's not going to work. I want to leave a little alley right here. The bar is low. We'll figure it out. Give me a barn. Yeah, we can, we can afford it. We have all the resources for it. Okay, here here wonderful okay now let's take a trip to oh i forgot we need to finish that bundle all right we'll do that too hey clint can you crack crack a cold one for me oh god okay well maybe that's new maybe that's new it's not i have a gift for you clint you know what just to show my appreciation for that awesome geode pull 
There you go. I have a chewy stick and a dwarf scroll. Oh, that is the last one. All right, so we have the dwarf, the dwarf translation guide now. Yay, and a skeleton. Spooky. I see we have a quest today. I'd like to put an earth crystal under my pillow. Why? Well, I can do that. I'm sure I can handle that. Oh no, we missed Elliot's birthday. What a shame. So today is just Therm the errand boy. Okay, we need earth crystal for Gus and our... Let's just bring all of our... Let's just bring all of the items in here and donate what we can. We still can't use the freaking mine cards because we need a, an iridium ore to finish the blacksmith. Why did I do the remixed bundles? They're so much harder. Oh, a cutscene. My world famous giant omelet, zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, tangy cheese, and asbestos. <laughs> Mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. That's not very nice. Oh, dude, he looks he's about to cry. These eggs are so rich and yellow. Marnie, are these from your place? No, you should better say no. You can thank Therm over at a poorly run farm. I forgot we named it that. A poorly run eggs. That's right, Marnie. So what, did I get friendship points? Did I get friendship points? Not even, okay. What do you have to say about your omelet? Nothing, okay. I guess I just don't exist. Take your stupid rock. I was kind of hoping for like a, thank you so much for the eggs. I guess I got it, but they never said it to my face, so it doesn't even count. Uh, let's start with the crafts room, because we can actually finish something there. A boom, a boom. And that gets us some fall seeds, which will be sold immediately. Winter foraging. Next up, the pantry. We have juice. We have mead. We have wine. Now I just need either tea or pale ale. We don't have hops and they're only in the summer, so that's gonna take forever. So hopefully we can get tea leaves before then. We'll, we'll, oh, we need to check the traveling cart. They sometimes sell tea stuff. Rare crops bundle, kaboom. What is my reward? A preserves jar, thank you. Fall crops, eggplant. Garden bundle, uh, I don't have that yet. This is a speed run. Fish, um, uh, don't have a sand fish. Uh, don't have those. Um, shadow tiger. Oh shoot, we need to be doing like fishing now that it's fall. Bolton board, fodder bundle. Oh, I can do that. No, I can't. Home cook, oh, I can do that though. Chef's bundle, uh, I'll have a, I'll have a maple syrup. Oh wait, we already have the vault finished. We can go get the sand fish like whenever. Why haven't we done? There's so much stuff that I keep assuming that we've done that we haven't done. Okay, let's see if we can make it to the traveling cart before they close. All right, show me a tea product, traveling cart lady. I need some tea leaves, please. There are like a million trees down here. Okay, so I clearly don't have a wood problem. I just keep whining. We have tulip, scrabble path, lobster bisque, puffer fish, cave carrot, wheat seed, speed grow, anchovy, rice, mayonnaise, armchair, coffee bean. I've got just what you need. Mayonnaise. There are a lot of things I need, but mayonnaise is definitely not one of them. Mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise is an artisan good. So now we have a we have a sale bonus on that. All right. Good night. Hey, there we go. Four thousand. That's more like it. It's a lovely fall day, and I think I'm gonna end this one here. Oh, we have our first cranberry harvest. So if you want to see me pick some berries, most likely off camera. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. I do not do a very good job of selling myself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.